these blurred the lines between genius and insane. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest patents ever filed by huge companies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the weirdest and most nonsensical patents filed by large corporations. Whether they actually develop the technology or not is irrelevant. Number 10. Robot Skin – Hewlett Packard Sci-fi quality androids still seem to be a long way off, but in 2012, Hewlett Packard Development was granted a patent for a sensor fabric capable of propelling robotics to the next level. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Despite the technological advancements made in the last couple of decades, robots have struggled to replicate basic sensory functions, meaning an object's attributes cannot be identified by touch. The patent promises to fix this shortcoming by using flexoelectric material and electrodes that, when the skin comes into contact with an object, generate a voltage that examines the surface's measurements. You're telling me that this thing can imitate anything it touches? Anything it samples by physical contact. Number 9. Electronic Skin Tattoo – Google and Motorola Mobility This is for those situations when a normal microphone is just too big of a hassle. Google and Motorola Mobility's electronic skin tattoo is practically a wireless microphone that, once attached to someone's throat region, can transmit and receive data from a smartphone or a controller. At first glance, Google's idea might seem silly, but the tattoo's close proximity to the user's vocal cords should reduce noise and improve communication in certain environments. Additionally, Motorola believes the tattoo could be able to detect when someone is lying. Now, these aren't 100% accurate, right? They're... Well, you'd be surprised how accurate they are. Number 8. Underwater Data Centers – Microsoft A research project or a poorly disguised hideout for a James Bond villain? Either way, Microsoft has our attention. Project Natick hopes to be Microsoft's answer for environmentally sustainable and low-cost cloud data centers, which can be constructed in around 90 days. With a substantial amount of people living near the coast, these centers allow for a cloud to be installed as close as possible to the customers, while also taking measures to encourage marine life. Moving data centers to the ocean made a great amount of sense to be able to make the actual cable to our customers as short as possible. At the tail end of 2015, Microsoft launched a prototype, the Leona Philpot, one kilometer or 0.62 miles off the Pacific coast, with promising results. It's not like a moonshot in the sense that it's just some outlandish thing it's actually a viable product that we could make. Number 7. Electronic Bees – Walmart Beans? No, bees! Bees? Bees! Bees! Oh. Finally, the real world is caught up to horror movies and Saturday morning cartoons. In the early 21st century, the agriculture industry has been facing a crisis due to a decline in bees and other insects needed to fertilize crops. Colony collapse disorder. We, we still don't know what's behind it. Bees themselves were virtually extinct, so what our ADIs do is effectively stand in for them. As Mother Nature's designated pollinators, bees play a crucial role in the reproduction process of fruits, vegetables, and nuts. So fewer bees equals fewer apples and oranges. Walmart was hardly the first to recommend robotics as a solution, but their patent received a ton of press including a mention on Saturday Night Live's Weekend Update of all places. What is Walmart now? <laughs> it's a department store that became a grocery store and a firearms dealer, and now they're just building an army of robot bees? Number 6. Odor Removing Device – Google Oh, this isn't even B.O. This is beyond B.O. It's B.B.O. Google is the ultimate wingman. The technology company is not usually associated with deodorants, but Google's patent for an odor-removing device suggests an expansion might be on the horizon. Designed to look like a fan, this high-tech spray predicts when the user's body odor could be taking a turn for the worse and attempts to get ahead of the situation. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! At that point, the device counters with a splash of fragrance to dull the body's natural smells. If the device is fighting a losing battle, 
Google's portable fan can access the person's social network profile to see which public areas should be avoided. It would, in theory, <coughs> connect with social networks in your phone contacts to alert you if you may be coming across a friend in your smelly state. Number 5. Foldable Phone – Samsung Samsung has been working on an alternative phone for years, and the Galaxy X is set to turn that dream into a reality. Among other things, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office granted Samsung a design patent for a foldable smartphone. Unlike normal applications, design patents are not required to state the material used in the creation process. But Samsung's smartphone will have a wraparound screen and could fold out to the size of a tablet. Samsung has yet to announce a release date for the Galaxy X, but it would be cool to see one of these patents actually come to life. Cool phone. Number 4. Sealed Crustless Sandwich – The JM Smucker Company Sorry if we lose you with all the upcoming technical jargon. In the late 90s, Smuckers filed a patent for a crustless sandwich – that is, a stack of two slices of bread with the outer edge removed – that was capable of standing the test of time without the central filling leaking out. Wow, my favorite PB&J with the crust cut off. What'd you get? Your crusts? After spreading peanut butter on the upper and lower portions of the flour-based panel, jelly is then added as the central filling before the bread pieces are pushed together. The patent's abstract explains that this design would prevent the sandwich's jelly from radiating through the bread. What about just making the crust thicker? Okay, we're brainstorming. I got it. A thicker crust, a thicker crust. That might do it. Number 3. Smart Wig – Sony Have you ever failed to realize that your phone was vibrating? Well, Sony has your back. The multinational conglomerate patented a wearable computing device that blends a stylish hairdo with the future. If created, the wig would hide a sensor, processing unit, and a communication interface that is linked to a smartphone. When a call or message is received, Sony's device would provide feedback to the user. I think I wear this wig to keep my head warm. If a smart wig sounds a little too weird, Nokia's patent for a vibrating tattoo might be the next best thing. Yes, the good Finnish folks at Nokia have filed a patent for a vibrating tattoo, in this case so your phone can buzz your tap to tell you somebody's calling or there's a new text waiting. Number 2. Car Glue – Google Google believes that self-driving cars are the future and the company is taking steps to improve their chances of success. Even if these vehicles are safer, Google knows that accidents will continue to happen, but hopes that car glue might decrease the risk of injury. Some car companies might focus on making cars that don't hit people, not Google. No way. Google's patent suggests coating a vehicle's exterior with an adhesive substance. If a pedestrian is hit, they'd get stuck rather than bouncing off and suffering a secondary impact. Because that was the problem with getting hit by a car before. It, it just wasn't embarrassing enough. The downside, in addition to being hit and stuck to a moving vehicle, is that the victim would become a makeshift bumper. If this catches on, it could be really useful for all the people I hit during carpool karaoke. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Rectangle Shaped Phone – Apple In the midst of the smartphone wars, Apple was granted a design patent for the rectangle shape of a portable display device. Basically, Apple won control over the standard look of a smartphone. For a design patent, the solid lines are the only things that matter. In this case, Apple's image just covers the outer shape of the device, and it is mind-boggling that the USPTO accepted their proposal. It raises the question of what can be patented. The shape of a car? A complicated device? An iconic design? While this seems like a big win for Apple, a patent this broad is usually pretty worthless, as competitors could easily invalidate it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.